Hey, welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today I want to start a new mini-series on toys that are a must get for getting uh, to do out of bounds and do OOB. And I kind of want to start a new tips and tricks and exploits. Uh, just a little side thing of doing OOB. Well, today I am currently getting the... Finally, <laughs> I should have got this toy a long time ago. It's the Vercul Drinking Horn. It's a rare item that you can only obtain or a toy that you can get from doing archaeology in Northern. Uh, and the way I'm getting it is, well, you need a hundred fragments of, uh, let me actually open this back up, of archaeology of the Vercul. And uh, eventually what you'll happen is you'll just keep uh, using your fragments and eventually the toy will pop up. So it, it will take a while for the toy to come up, but you'll just keep doing archaeology and northern. And you want to find certain spots. So m most of the time where you'll want to do the archaeology is in the Howling Forge or the Grizzly Hills. There's also a few spots in the Storm Peaks and I believe Ice Crown as well. The other archaeology spots are more of like Troll and uh, the Nerubian, so you're not going to find anything there. But you can see here that I'm actually uh, digging for the toy right now. I'm very excited to get it. This toy is very, very helpful in uh, OOB because it allows you to grow your character without having to use like potions or anything. Now, for the longest time, as I've been doing out of bounds content, I've always relied on the uh, Elixir of Giant Growth Potions to grow grow my character but this is literally a free elixir of growth potion that is on a there's no cooldown to it it lasts literally 10 minutes and you can use it as much as you want so i should have got this toy a long time ago i highly recommend that you get it it's awesome so um we're just gonna continue doing the archaeology here until we get it and then uh, after we get this toy, I'll kind of show you how to use it and uh, what are some of the best ways that you can use it with uh, OOB. So I'm almost there. I got close to a hundred or uh, so actually I already have the, I already have it. I just need to, actually I can just solve it right now. There we go. We finally got the toy. Woo, took forever. But we did it. <laughs> so there we go. We got the toy. It takes a hundred fragments. Uh, eventually, you'll just keep doing archaeology here up in Northern. Um, and you want to find the fragments for the, like I said, the, um, the Vercule. I don't think I'm saying their name right. But once you get a hundred fragments, um, well, actually, you'll just keep solving the uh, archaeology. And then eventually the toy will pop up. So as you can see right here, I just got it for the first time ever, which is really sad. So let's check it out. Um, what do we want to replace here? We can replace the uh, that thing there. So essentially what you do is you pop the toy. And there you go. You grow it larger. Uh, now I'm playing a dwarf as my hunter. So <laughs> I don't get that big. But on my night elf, it does help a lot. And... Um, you're actually able to have this cool little helmet too and all that so um but yeah that's how to get the toy up in northern it does take a little bit of time it took me it can take you just a couple of hours i mean if you are dedicated to just flying around and doing the and you enjoy archaeology so it doesn't take that long it took me a long time because i kept coming back here and then stopping and then coming back so i should have got this toy a long time ago all right guys i'm going to show you what are some of the best ways you can use this toy and i will be back <laughs> 